Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. <clears throat> Ooh, that was weird. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. I know you've been waiting for it. Like yesterday, I had two different videos that came out. One was uh, Lumion Legends, and the other was, oh, what did I play? Fortnite. And you guys were like, where's, where's Lumber? Where's Lumber? Good Lord, why are you not playing Lumber Code? Well, I'm here to tell you, I'm playing Lumber today. But if this is your first episode that you've ever seen, don't forget to hit the comment, subscribe, like, smash button. No, the like the comment button. Don't forget to comment on the like button. What's it again? It's the, the oh, subscribe, notifications on. Ah, simple, simple. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys uh, heard from the last episode of what I was going to do. I'm going to recreate my new house uh, in lumber. This is my old house and I was going to just go and destroy the whole thing and then you guys are like, no, don't do it. So I decided, you know what? I can just build up and here's the little trick that I'm going to do. So you can't build off the property, right? But you can get slightly close to it like that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up like this, like this like oh, oh wait no I'm gonna I'm gonna build that here first and just like what 12 of them or something one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that should be good twelve twelve is a nice nice number why do we use twelve on like everything I've never understood that there's twelve inches in a foot there's 12 hours in uh, a half of a day. 12 and 12 is 24, you know? We we use 12 constantly. Sesame Street, it always counted up to 12. It never, like, it didn't count to 20. It, it like, stopped at 12 for some reason. I don't know. It's always been a curious number to me. The number 12. Today's episode was brought to you by the number 12. Wait, what? And the letter three, wait, what? what? No, no letters. Anyhow, I decided, what is that? Oh my goodness. That's a teal wood, look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't want to use any of this wood. This is all like specialty wood, except that. That's in the wrong spot and it needs to go over there. Hmm. Uh oh, slipped on the ice. Ah. Wait, do I have any? oak wood I don't have any oak bins do I well that's kind of disturbing why didn't I ever make oak bins better yet where's elm uh, you know what I see some wood is is that yeah that is okay so let's let's use this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up these ladders over here and we're going to um, build a outside lift that way I can cover the entire place with um, wood and not worry about it. There we go. Much better. Anyhow, if you have any questions like that, like why do we use the number 12, uh, write those in the comments, you know, and let's see if other people can come up with answers and answer the questions. I love answering questions um, that I know the random knowledge to, you know. <clears throat> Like, did you know that the first mask, no, no, is it mascara? No, the first eyeshadow was born, worn by uh, Cleopatra from uh, ancient Egypt. And what she did is she would smash scarabs or uh, beetles up into a, a powder. I think it was their shells. And she'd use that on her eyes. That was the first eyeshadow. So I guess animal testing back then wasn't really a thing. Ooh, I'm gonna get hit by a, was it PETA? That's the animal rights group. They're gonna be mad at me. They're like, no, it's it's history. I was just telling history. I have a whole bunch of kids being like, code, I busted up a beetle and tried it on my eyes. Don't do that. Don't do that, kids. Uh, I'm a trained professional. I, I smashed the beetles as a professional and put them on my eyes. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I don't wear eyeshadow. <laughs> I mean, it, if you wear eyeshadow, that's that's fine. That's uh, that's what you do. I just I was raised in a different time where 
boys don't wear eyeshadow. But you know what? There are a ton of YouTubers out there. Uh, there's one that does an awesome job of doing, like starting out with foundations and doing different colors. And I watched them a couple times. I, I didn't subscribe. It's not, not really my kind of channel, but I'm not here to judge. I'm here to show you how to have acceptance for everyone. Is that tall enough? That's not, not even remotely tall enough. Need to go taller. So I think I think 12 is a good idea. <clears throat> I think that's 12. It could be 13. Oh goodness, so let's not make it 13. That's an unlucky number. Huh, maybe that's why we don't go to 13 on, on counting things. Maybe that's why we stop at 12. Could that be, could that be why? It's gotta be some Illuminati stuff right there. You know? Um, what other games do you guys like to play? Like I've, I've had tons of suggestions on what I should play in the past, but I've, I've never like reached out to you guys and said, Hey, what kind of game would you want to play? You know? Do you want to play a game? No, not like that. That's ew, creepy. Um, I just realized I don't know where to place the correct placement of the things. Because I, I, I bought some of these earlier. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Check this out. Check this out. We'll take this over and drop it off where the gifts are because that's what I need to do. I will sort you later. Not right now. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll place these down one by one and I'll basically leapfrog them until I get to where I can build on there. Oh, come on. Okay, rotate turn. By the way, I got to speak to Dig Dug the other day. I was so happy. Dig Dug, we miss you. I don't know if you guys, did, did I say that already? Did I tell tell you guys? I can't remember, but I was so happy to talk to him for a second. It was cool. Wait, where'd that go? Where'd you go? Okay, we'll do another one. <clears throat> I think that saved at the wrong time. What in the world? Do, do we find a new bug? Hold on. What is going on here? I just did like four of them in a row. Hold on. Let's see if this is actually... Okay. So this one's out of the packaging. Yeah, they're disappearing. Okay. Um... Well... New subject of interest, new title for um, video, new glitch found, yay, click now, or forever, no, <clears throat> save it, save it, yeah, we can go load, I'll load this current slot, reload, so what this will do, this will save the current state, reload the current state, and then uh, I should be able to see if those are still there, that was odd. That was very odd with the, the large glass. Does anybody know uh, a problem with the large glass and, and that happening in that particular instance? By the way, I don't have my coffee tonight. Um, just so you know, it's 2 11 a.m. in the morning. I, I have to kind of be quiet, but it's Friday. So, I mean, it's Friday the day that I record, Friday the day that you guys get to see the video. So, I mean, it all kind of works out, you know? Mm. I will attempt to be at karaoke tonight. Now, I have a big time difference from what I used to do and what I, I'm doing now. So, if, uh, if I don't show up in time, then Grammy, please remind me. <laughs> or somebody, somebody reach out to me on Twitter and be like, Code, it's time to sing, you fool. Well, don't say you fool. That's copywritten. I think that's Cineax. All right. Did it go? Are they just gone? Ooh, load successful. 
Yeah, they're gone. What in the world? Hold on, is that? Oh, that's a large pain too. It's a pain in my butt. Just kidding. All right, stick that there. Whoa, 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 we were about to lose it. Man. Pro gaming. Pro, pro gamer skills. Is there, is there like a little bit of a lag delay? Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. Beep, beep. What's crazy is like, all those are lost. We need to, oof, we need to drive this over to the gifts section as well. Uh oh, I'm stuck. What am I stuck on? Uh oh. Uh -oh, is it? oh, there's a present under there. Or is that the present that I... Oh, there we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm just messing everything up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, am I stuck? There we go. Jeez. Louise. Okay. Hold on. I need to zoom in and grab this stuff. We're just going to toss this in the back. Oh, that was a, like a little bit of a super jump right there. See that? Like a double jump. Boom. Boom. Get this out of the way. Get that out the way. Come here. There we go. Grab this. Put it over there. I love being in first person because it reminds me of uh, virtual reality. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Boop. Boop. So many gifts. Were these the Christmas presents? I, I think these were Christmas presents. Uh, I don't want to clean all this up right now. Here, hold on. Let's sweep this off to the edge. Sweep. 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 There we go. And that looks good. That's, that's fine. That's what we were needing. Okay. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Move the truck real quick. Got to get the truck back on the property, that way I don't lose anything. And I'll put the, the pink pink truck back as well. Okay, maybe if we do this, let's do a turn. And then we'll go upright like this. Just along the wall here. There, that works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we should be able to do another turn. Right there on the edge. Nice. <laughs> Are these like floating or what? That's crazy. And that one's not lined up to the edge. There we go. That one's lined up to the edge. I guess we could just, uh, we can leapfrog these, can't we? Oh, have like a little obby up to the next part. <clears throat> no, don't do that code. It's fine. I guess I could have just jumped on top of that, couldn't I? Hold on, can I, can I get up there? Wee. There we go, cool. Now, I know there's more efficient ladders, but that's not what we're going for. We're, we're trying to get, uh oh. Measurements correct. So, right there is the edge. So, I can take this one, move, and we can go right over the edge. like that <clears throat> now is that the bottom or is that the top if I if I were to build a post 
on top. That's lined up, right? Everything should be lined up. That that should be perfect. But I wanted to check to see that I can climb on top of it from this direction. Perfect. Perfect. Do you guys see that? Pro gamer. Get a hashtag pro gamer down there in the comments below. If you want, you don't have to. That's totally your, your choice. <clears throat> Man, I know that it's late and I know that I'm tired, but I didn't expect to be like this tired. We did a lot today. Um, I went and picked up a grill so we can have uh, family cookouts on Sundays. And uh, we're gonna have all the family over. So for the majority of us, um, we've all gotten shots and we are all vaccinated or we've been through, uh, I was about to say chemo. Um, my wife went through chemo, but no, we've, we've all been through Corona or the vaccine. So we are now allowed to uh, conjugate and, and to, to mer mingle and to visit one another. That's awesome. Oh, this is going to take a lot of class. Uh, how far along are we? We're already 16 minutes in. Uh, sun is just coming up, so that means we have a little bit of time. What is this? Are those jelly beans? Oh, that's a candy bag. Nice. Make sure that we didn't lose anything off the edges here. Okay, let's go spend some uh, spend some money, and we'll grab some more glass and continue on with our glass floor for the second thing. What is that? Is that a gift? No, it's a cherry tree. Wow, that did not look like a cherry tree. Looked like uh, one of the gifts had been flung off my thingy, off my base. Are you guys excited for, for summertime? I'm, I'm super excited. But here's the problem. My kids, they're staying up way too late. Like, it's affecting my sleep time and my record times and stuff like that. Just because I cannot get them to go in, take a bath, brush their teeth, go to bed. Go to bed. There's going to be plenty of time to... If you wake up early tomorrow, plenty of time. To play video games, watch YouTube videos, do your thing, you know? Uh, I was also thinking about starting a, starting a retro channel, you know? Retro Nintendo. I'm just playing old school Nintendo games, but I'm not sure how many of you would actually follow me over there to watch those. Because it, it, it wouldn't be me talking, you know, the, the sense that I talk over here. It'd just be playing video games. A lot of people ask me, Code, why do you still play Lumber? I enjoy it. I thoroughly enjoy coming in here, relaxing, building, having fun, using my imagination, and just talking. <sighs> oh, and a lot of you said, Code, I thought you said you were going to be gone for a year. No, I said that I was saying goodbye to YouTube for that particular point in time. And it was only, it was only like two and a half weeks. And the reason I said that is because I would not be able to record. There was no recording for me. But as soon as we got internet in the house, like one of the first things I wanted to do was get a new recording out. And the new setup is it's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's really sweet. But <clears throat> my actual uh, work computer is here. I've got it all hooked up. My, my boss, he actually purchased me three Samsung Curves and they're 27 inch. They're huge, they're, they're massive. They don't even fit on the desk. Like one of them's sitting on my desk right now, but they're, they're nice, super nice. But I need, the, I need the big screen monitors so I can see the code because my eyesight's kind of going on me. I'm getting older. <clears throat> no, it's because of the glaucoma. Oh, uh, 
bombshell if you guys didn't know. I do have glaucoma in my right eye. And for those of you that don't know what glaucoma is, it's where the pressure builds up inside your eye, your eyeball, and uh, it starts to kill the nerves in the back of your eye. A lot of people probably will never get it, but mine happens to be a very rare one called pigmentary dispersion syndrome. And what it is, um, you know the focus lens on your eyeball? Right? The one that like focuses? Well, there are these, there's these little hairs around the lens of the eyeball. And they stretch to, to help you focus. Well, my zonules are actually rubbing up against the back of my iris. That's the colory part of your eyes. And what that does is it causes little flakes of color to drop off and get stuck in the drain tubes inside my eyeball. I know. It's so not gross, right? But <clears throat> that's the explanation of it. That's why I have glaucoma at like such a young age. And I know a lot of my viewers are like, young code, you're over 15, you're old. I know, I know, yeah, I'm old. I will be gaming until I retire. I will be playing video games and having fun and reminiscing about like the 80s video games versus today. And for those of you who are like, oh man, I'm so good at video games, I'm the best, I I dare you. Go back and play stuff like uh, <clears throat> Ghosts and Goblins for the original Nintendo. And then you come back and tell me you're a good gamer. You go play original Nintendo games and tell me you're a good good gamer. Because I'm not convinced. If you, if you can solo run Ghosts and Goblins one time, the original Nintendo, without losing a life, then record it and then go for the world record. <laughs> there are Ghosts and Goblin like speed runs, and I've seen them, but dang. We did not have any saves back then. We didn't have any guides that you could go and do. We had Nintendo Power. You know, the subscription. That was that was our internet. But they did have the Nintendo Hotline, like Nintendo Power Hotline. You could call in for like two ninety nine a minute and uh, request help on video games. Yeah, I never got to call. <clears throat> What's crazy is like they would charge you for the hold time. So if you were holding for 15 minutes and then they talked to you for five, you got charged for the full 20 minutes. And at two ninety nine a minute. Okay, Google. What's two ninety nine times twenty? Two hundred ninety nine times twenty is five thousand nine hundred eighty. Sixty bucks for twenty minutes of work. That would be a job, wouldn't it? Could you imagine? Could you imagine getting paid that? Crazy. So I wonder how he fixed the. Uh, the numbers up here because if you remember the numbers were broken inside lumber it didn't tell you the actual amount of money that you had it was it'd be like 19.9 like what 19.9 m i don't know why roblox did that they they went and started changing all these different things and i just don't understand why you keep changing things like it's nice that you're improving some things but other things that aren't broken don't fix them stop touching things that's not to say come out with better technologies just stop touching the things that aren't broken isn't hurting anyone for example games they're games not experiences I don't know who on your board of directors or figured that one out and they're like, oh, we're going to call it experiences. No, it's a game. You're playing a game. Well, I can see where they're coming from with experience because technically like the role playing games, those aren't really game games. Games. Hmm. Okay, Google. What's the definition of game? 
A form of player sport, especially a competitive one played according to rules and decided by skill, strength, or luck. Hmm. So I guess a role-playing game would not be a game. It would be a role-play. Hmm. But there's still rules to the game, like... So, pretend. <clears throat> would you guys consider pretend? Playing pretend? Playing dress-up and stuff? Is that a game? I mean, it's not really based on rules. Or competitiveness. I mean, I was very competitive whenever I pretended. Because, like, I wanted to be the Mario... Uh... The, the Mario with the tail from Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Brothers 3, that's what I pretended to be. What's funny is like, my son does pretend as well. And he doesn't like me calling it pretend. He's like, no, no, I'm engaging him. I'm a, I'm a assault rifle, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But it's still pretend, it's, um, Invoking the imagination and pretending to be someone else. Pretending to be a ninja. Pretending to be a, a SWAT sniper. Pretending to be Venom. You know? I knew that was going to happen. Alright, let's just talk to him. Hey, buddy. I don't know what you said. It's too far away. He just says, blank. Blanca. Get in there. Get in there. You're the one that's like causing all of them to fall down. There we go. Alright, here we go. Come on, physics engine. Don't fail me now. Oh, really? You suck sometimes, physics engine. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come on, buddy. Sorry you fell out. Are you all scraped up now? That's okay. You've got a protective coating on you. There we go. <clears throat> We're running back. Oh my gosh, it's already 27 minutes. What have we been talking about this whole time? Jeez. So, whether you're an old fart like me, and I know that some of my viewers are older than I am, but there's a lot, like the majority of the demograph would be younger than I am. I want to encourage you, whatever you want to do, go and do it. If you want to play video games for a living, go be a YouTuber. Go go do this. You can do it. You have time. I get so many people that have the excuse, well, oh, I just don't have time. I got schoolwork. I got this. I got that. I got family. I got work. You know what? If you really wanted to, you could make it work. And that's with anything that you want to be you know I, w I want to give you that if there's one thing i can tell you life is going to change the way that you live your life right now whether you're a kindergartner who's going to school learning to tie your shoes brushing your teeth and going to bed late whatever the case may be life will change if you're uh, a dad of children they're going to grow up and they're going to get older and they're going to move out and life will change you know it may be very chaotic and stressful at times but it's still part of life take that take that with you you know don't stress on all these big big things you know don't stress on the little things because that's that's just it. If you're if you're stressing about all the little problems, all the little things that could be going wrong in your life, and that's all you're ever focusing on, you're not living. And if you're living too safe, if you're never taking a chance, never taking a risk, and not doing anything, you're not living. Do those things. Go experience the world. Ex experience living today. Like that tree. That tree is no longer experiencing living. It dropped its leaves. Goodbye, tree. Thank you for living. <laughs>
Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, <coughs> subscribe <coughs> down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to go out at the end of the video is like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. Did he change the uh, image? He did not. Love you guys very much. Did I say like, comment, and subscribe? I'm going to say it again. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Love you guys. Have a great night or day, whatever it is. Oh, don't forget. I'm going to try and live stream tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to actually happen, but we're going to try. We're going to shoot for it and hope it works. Uh, and we have family movie night tomorrow night. I'm, I'm going to try and shoot for a family movie night. We'll pop some popcorn, get the kids together, get the family together and, and invite you all over into the discord. We'll go play a movie of some kind. Um, and then Friday night karaoke, that's tonight. Uh, if I can't make it or if there's something, then I will let you guys know through Twitter and through the discord. Oh, by the way, if you've not joined the discord, do it. Look in the about section of my channel. You'll find a whole bunch of links and stuff. That'd be an awesome, awesome, uh, thumbnail, I think. All right. Love you guys. Have a, have a good one. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com.